Hey, welcome to the Saturday Night Shave on the Cross-Eyed Texan. And today, we're going to be taking a look at my third soap from Heritage Hill Shaving Company called Patriot. As you can see, this is a lime, bergamot, and patchouli. Then this stuff smells lemony, uh, lime and lemony fresh, man. It just, I could almost, almost drink it. It smells fantastic, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, I got a great lather from it. And uh, filling up the sink here with some hot water. The other actors in this shaving play, maybe I should call it Shaving Private Ryan. Sorry, that was bad. The other actors in this play is this Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless. This is my third or fourth time to use these blades. And I'm using them in a razor that I haven't featured lately. And this is my uh, West Coast Shaving by Charcoal Goods Brawny with a razor rock handle. And one of these days I'll look up to find out what handle this actually is. But I've got my sink full of hot water. I've already got my blade installed. The reveal is great. I've got about six days worth of growth. And... Uh, Let's get our shave on. Let me see if I can get my face wet here. And what I like to do versus splashing my face is the old hot towel method here. And as far as I'm concerned, this could be a little bit hotter. So let's see if I can tear up something in the bathroom real quick. And I like to get this just as hot as I can stand it. How you doing? How's your weekend? How's your mom and them? As we say in the South. How's your mom and them? Alright. And uh, we are up to almost 360 subscribers. Lord of mercy, I didn't think anybody cared that cared to find out what I had to say about anything. But I'm grateful. Another thing about this shave soap, let me give you another look at it. Another thing about this shave soap is they donate a percentage of their sales to help our veterans with mental illness and various other things. And that's a cause that I can get behind. I try not to get real political, but I think we owe those men who are out there on the streets and struggling with their lives a whole lot more than we can, we've we we've been given them. So, if, you know, that's why I'm throwing some love their way. All right, let's get this shave started, shall we? But that is something that uh, gets my dander up when we don't... Uh, Take care of the people who served and fought for us. That makes me downright grouchy. You know what I mean? So, uh, show Heritage Hill some love. Reach out to them. You can buy three of these for what you can buy. Uh, they're $9 a piece for three ounces, which is enough for me. Three ounces of soap is, is enough. I've, I've said it before when it comes to this brand. I would buy three ounce things of soap. I don't need six ounces of shaving soap. I think if you use that every day, it'd probably take you two or three years to go through it. But So I like the little ones. And that, look at that. That makes a nice, nice lather. I really do. Mm. It smells good. It's cold here in Dallas today. And I like the... Uh, I like the way this stuff smells like cold evening. All right. Let's see if we can get our shave on here. Let's do a little skin stretching right here. And this is the first razor I have used. The second razor I have used the Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless in. And this is my second most aggressive razor. Falling in behind the Razor Rock. Game changer with the 84 base plate. And if you know what the base plate rating is on this, because I can't find it anywhere on a West Coast shaving site. If you know what it is, 
leave me a comment below. I'd love to know. But to me, it feels like it's probably just a shade below the 84. But this blade's doing fantastic. Just mowing this stuff down. I think the most I need to shave is probably every other day. But uh, I'm retired. So I don't have anywhere to be. So I don't. And I generally shave my set shit. Hmm. <laughs> Save my shaves for the videos to share and chat with you guys. So Geo Fat Boy was reviewing the Merker 38C today, which I didn't know they made. Which is just a long-handled version of the 34C. You may have to acquire one of those. Yeah, this razor is not near as smooth as the Game Changer. That's pretty nasty. So, like I said, I own three of these. I own Sovereignty, which has a lovely black T note in it. And all of these soaps produce a very slick, very luxurious lather they do seem to be a little bit thirsty it looks like i'm crooked man it's the story of my life stay away from him he's crooked man that was a very good first pass Grab me some more of this stuff. Oh, and by the way, I'm also using my Omega board brush. I'll tend to grab a brush out of my collection and use it for a week or two. And then uh, clean it up really good and put it back and grab another one. So I'm in the market for... A new shaving brush. I only like have like seven or eight. But I want something good. I want something that just looks awesome. And I think I want something with a, you know, nice wooden handle. And I've considered um, chisel and hound. But I don't, I don't want to spend more than $100 or $110 on the whole thing. What do y'all know about that? What would y'all recommend? As far as a good shaving brush. And it can be synthetic or it can be badger. But I don't think I want it to be silver tip badger. I find that stuff. Um, I find the silver tips to be lacking in the backbone department. At least that's been my, uh, my take on it. Alright, so... I'm skipping across the grain and uh, we're going directly against it until we get to the neck here. Yeah, these uh, Heritage Hill will uh, we'll take a lot of water. But once you find the uh, right amount, boy, they're just fantastic. Flip. Flip. 
Well, I don't know what to do now that football season's over. Lately, we've been getting together over at a friend's house and playing cornhole. There's a girl I know who just happens to be able to whip us all, but beating me ain't that big of an accomplishment. I can't see anyway. <laughs> But she's really good. Boy, I'm scared to, I'm st after all these years of shaving, I don't want to call it scared, but I'm cautious around the old chinny chin chin. What's one of those places under your face that you know that if you're not careful, you're going to cut yourself? Usually it's just around my chin. And when I'm not growing the mustache, that's another place where I, uh, where I know I'm probably going to cut myself. It drives me crazy. Man, I can't wait to use this stuff here in the summertime. This is great. And um, for those of you who watch my fragrance videos, this stuff would pair well with it. Granted, the scent goes away. But if you want to keep the same smell going just for yourself, um, this uh, shaving soap would pair well with uh, Calvin Klein Contradiction for Men. Because the very first ingredient listed in there, in the top notes of that fragrance, is lime. I also think the uh, aftershave Island Man from um, Sterling Soap would be a wonderful accompaniment to this. You know what? I could stop now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a touch up on the old necaroni because that's always where I need it. Always where I need it. Now, I made what sounds like a derogatory comment about this razor, and I didn't mean it to sound that way, but this charcoal good, goods head is excellent because of that cur that the uh, the angle on it. That I recommend the, um, this is the brawny, and I recommend the uh, one below this, whose name I cannot recall for uh, first-time shavers because it just helps you find that angle. They have the brawny, the toothsome. Y'all know what it is, tell me. I can't remember. I'm getting old. My brain don't work so good. Live. That's what it is. It is the live. You can hear all that hair. That razor's picking up. Across the grain on my neck. Is right to left. What is the matter with me? What is the matter with me? One of these days, I'm going to buy me a new razor to review on the channel, but to be quite honest, I'm very happy with most of the, all of the razors that I have, so I haven't seen the point in really buying a new one. The thing that I really like most about this hobby is the soaps. So, I may pick up some, uh, some D.R. Harris. Oh, I've been wanting to try some of that. This stuff looks really good to me. Oh, there's a spot I could get. All right. 
let's clean off the face real quick. And I like doing it this way instead of splashing water all over my face because I get it everywhere and then I got to clean up the bathroom. I don't feel like cleaning up the bathroom today. You know, that is close enough for government work. And we are going to reach over here and we're going to reach for the Nivea. Since I'm just going to bed, I like to use the Nivea in the winter time because I find out the uh, other stuff just dries my face out so bad. And what's cool about the Nivea is that it's actually slick enough to where if you're doing this like I just did. It's actually slick enough to where if you find a spot, you can go back after it. Well, there we are. Man. What an excellent soap for $9. Reach out and get you some of this from Heritage Hill. It's very good stuff. Oh, I can't wait. B boys, I hope y'all make some uh, some uh, splashes soon. I'll be the first in line to pick some up. And I love what y'all are doing for our veterans, man. I have nothing but the highest uh, praise for you guys doing that. Because we need to be taking care of them. Because they were out taking care of us. So we could sit around here and have nice things and shaving soaps and whatnot. So I really appreciate Heritage Hill. Give them a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm going to send this video directly to them just to let them know how much I appreciate it. God bless you guys. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I wholeheartedly appreciate it. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not trying to be anybody. I'm just a dude trying to share something he's passionate about. There's two things that I'm passionate about. My faith and my passion for wet shaving and male grooming and keeping yourself looking good. You know what I'm saying? If you look good on the outside, you're going to feel good on the inside and vice versa. Especially when you feel good on the inside, it's going to flow to the outside. It's a great tool for helping people combat addictions. Wet shaving is awesome. And so is, so is the Lord. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I need all the help I can get. You guys have a great day.